everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel Ray here and today I have another sneak peek unboxing, which means that this Saturday, if you're watching this on Friday, tomorrow, there's going to be a new release at Diamond Art Club and it's a round diamond painting. Are you excited to see what it is? Have a look. It's American Eagle. This is another Constantin Kellinen. This the same the same artist that did the tiger and the lion watercolor this is gorgeous i will show you a better picture once i get into it but it's a 51 by 69 centimeter painting 20 by 27 inch i'm so excited <laughs> this is gonna be so cool so let's get in I usually don't do this on camera but that's okay I'll show you the struggle today. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Uh, this, this is just nice. Really nice. The way that it came packaged, it was nice and secured. I know that there's some denting in it, but that's okay. Now, let's have a look inside the box and see what it came with. Okay, so there is the canvas and the drills. There's my toolkit. Is there anything else? Uh -huh. Aha! Yeah, there is the picture. And there's nothing else inside that box, so I'll just put it to the side. But here we go. Ooh, look at that picture. That's huge compared to the symbol list. There are 34 colors, and it looks as though there are two Aurora Borealis colors, AB colors. Those are the ones with the iridescent coating on top, and I'll show you those in just a moment if you're new. Wow, it looks so majestic. I know it's gonna be a lot of white though, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and look. There's the toolkit. This one comes with a blue pen, two plates of wax, two heart-shaped wax thingies, a squishy for the pen, cleared tray, and some baggies. Inside. I'm so excited. Now, the canvas is so soft. I love Diamond Art Club canvases because they really are really soft and nice to work with. So it looks as though it's this way. Ooh, that's a lot of white. <laughs> okay, y'all. Look at this. It's big. It's really big. Oh, my little llama's in the way. See my little llama? Let's move him just a little bit this way. Let's get those drills out. There's our instruction booklet. There's our diamonds. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of white. <laughs> oh wow, look. Okay, what I'm gonna do, just so that you can see, I'm gonna roll it this way. You can do that with poured glue. Oh, what is that? Um, you can do this with poured glue, but you can't do this with like double-sided uh, double adhesives and stuff like that. I would not recommend. This is just to make it go this way and lay flat quicker. If you're not opening your Diamond Art Clubs right away, that's fine. Um, but they, they will be fine stored flat on their sides. Some people store them standing up. I store them on the side. That's what I prefer to do, but look at this guy. Oh my gosh. I love his eye. Such detail. That looks fabulous. Oh my goodness. And you know, it's not imposing. You know, it's it actually does look really, really nice. I think that this would be great if you have like, I don't want to say a male friend or, you know, your husband, your son, brother, but this, this is easier for them to probably work on rather than the, the Mandy Manzano's and the Josephine Walls and all that. Nothing, nothing, you know, nothing against this artist at all at all. Uh, but this is a little bit more uh, accessible to the men in our life. And I really like that they are bringing in these designs as well, because this will look amazing. Amazing. Gorgeous. Oh, you know, I love, I love Constantine's art. He has the watercolor leopard, tiger, and lion, and now we have the eagle as well. 
fabulous. So a few things to note. So as you can see, if you're new to Diamond Art Club, they have a legend here at the top and they also have a legend. I'm going to bring you back down to the middle here. They have a legend here at the bottom, which is fantastic because back in the old days, uh, they had it at the top, but then once you got halfway down the painting and you're like rolling it away from you as you're completing the painting, there was nothing there. Now that they've brought in the sticker sheet, what I do is I actually cut this up and use it on my containers. Um, and that way I know what symbol I'm working on. So I don't really need them on the sides anymore. So that's an idea if you've never, um, if you haven't used one of these before, that's what I do. And I have a video on that, just I'll link it up here for you. But so we've got the drills. I'm just going to show you what colors there are and what to expect. It looks like one and two are going to be our Aurora Borealis diamonds. So let me show you what those look like. <laughs> look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bags of 5200. That's still not as many 310 as there were in Nightbringer, but that's a lot. That is a lot of white. So just be warned. Here we go. Here's some more colors. So we've got some brown, dark blue. Here's the first Aurora Borealis color. This is the white. It's actually more of um, an off-white, like a 3865 in DMC. But what makes it Aurora Borealis is that shiny coating on top that makes it sparkle just a little bit more. It's iridescent. Pretty. Got dark browns and blues. So pretty. Brown. More blue. There's a lot of blue in this up here in his in his face. So cool. And then, oh, we've got two bags of 310, which is black. We've got some more blues. Very nice. 939 is a very dark blue, almost black. Browns, different shades of brown for his body. See all that? You can see that's all going to go down in here. And all of those different shades are going to get give an incredible depth of color as well. So, you know, whereas our our brain might only see like two or three different shades, there's actually a load of shades of brown in reality. So that's nice. We have some grays. Some yellows. Oh, there's the other AB diamond. Can you see how it shimmers and sparkles? Very pretty. And then the rest of the colors there for the beak and the eye. Very nice. Excellent. So let's see where those AB diamonds go. So number one is 138, and that is the blue color. I'm trying to find at least one of them. <laughs> one number one. Oh, there's some. Once I see the the symbol, I can sometimes then find more of that symbol. So let me bring you down. So right here is a chunk of them. That can't be it. <laughs> there has to be more. One, one. So here, here, here. I really don't see any more. There could be more scattered in there, but I honestly don't see any more other than the ones that are here on the side. There, there, and there. Um, but there could be more. Um, one, two, three, four little spots. And then number two is 141, that white color. And that's actually dotted a lot of places and sprinkled all in here. 
like almost like stars and then in inside between these feathers here and around his face up here so it makes more sense that there's there's more of the white AB than the blue AB but that's okay because that's gonna really give it that kind of like beautiful shimmer effect without being over the top if that makes sense on a painting like this um, the way that I would consider tackling it is actually to start on the edges first and get all of that single color done first for round diamond paintings I personally would use a single placer I know that <laughs> some of you are like oh my gosh that'll take forever it'll look amazing um, and if you use the checkerboard method, the drills will lay super duper straight and you won't have any of that strange slippage. Speaking of slippage, just as a little tip, uh, if you're finding that the glue, which is poured glue, if you're finding that it's, when you place a drill, it seems to like move a little bit, that's completely normal with poured glue. You want to go ahead and leave your section exposed for about 30 minutes and then let's say let's say for example I've uncovered this section um, and I'm planning to do a little bit more today I might just pull it back a little bit more and then let it sit for a while and then come back to it um, this way it gives the glue some time to cure which it sounds funny, but it's true because this is such a, a sticky adhesive. Uh, it, it does need a little bit more time to air dry. And essentially what will happen is over time, once you have drilled the canvas and you finish the canvas, that glue is going to really, really, really grab onto those drills and it won't let go. That's why I don't seal my Diamond Art Club paintings. So that is that hopefully that answered some questions but yeah I would do all of the 5200 first around the border and uh, and then go to the color because the color is the fun part and this particular painting is a lot of confetti because it's based off of uh, a paint an actual painting and if you look at the picture you can see that there's a lot of color changes and things like that a lot of splatter I can't tell. I don't think it's, it could be watercolor actually. Could be watercolor. It's beautiful, isn't it? So this is a lot of confetti, which means that there are a lot of colors in a small section. So you have to bring out all of your, all of your colors at once. Um, so yeah, I really like this. I think that the overall effect is amazing. Let's look at the, the canvas really quick before I leave you for the day. So you can see here that the drill or the drill field is quite clear. There are rings around the symbols, but what you can't see is that the, the rings here on, for example, these white symbols, that's not a black ring. It's actually a silver ring. It's very, very, very faint. So it's not too difficult to hide. Um, but you may want to be extra careful when placing your drills. And that's why I would suggest using the single placer on this painting. Um, plus it just means that you'll enjoy the fun of it for much, much longer. So I love his little eye. So cool. He looks so regal, so majestic. Well, guys, I hope that you enjoyed looking at our sneak peek for the weekend. This will be available on Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. So that's Saturday, the 22nd of, of August. So make sure you set an alarm, maybe five minutes before. Sign into the website, get your stuff ready. Uh, maybe put something else in your cart while you're there so that you are primed and ready to go. Uh, and don't forget, there are a lot of discounts available. If you can't find a discount, I do have a referral link down below. I'm not going to benefit from that, but it will save you 15% if you don't have another code. Uh, but uh, I would highly recommend, if you would like to, you could join our Facebook group, Crafters Anonymous, with Mrs. Crochet and Coffee and Rachel Ray, moi. Um, and you can uh, 
come and join the fun. We are supported by Diamond Art Club. So if you'd like to get behind the scenes information and maybe just, we have our own special code as well. Uh, it's not to be shared outside the group, of course, but uh, you're welcome to come and enjoy, share your experiences and have a lot of fun with us over there on the Facebook group as well. Okay, I've rambled on enough. I hope that everybody has a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Take care everyone. Bye.